Now in this video we will talk about primitive roots and uh, primitive polynomial. All the numbers in GFQ set 0 to Q minus 1 are used to raise power on number GFQ. If there is no 0 in the result and the results produce all the numbers except 0 in GFQ, then such a number is the primitive root. Now this uh, will be clear with this example. Suppose we are talking about GF3 and elements of GF3 are 0, 1 and 2. So first of all let's test 0. 0 raised to power 0 is equal to 1. 0 raised to power 1. Zero raised to power one is equal to zero. Zero raised to power two is equal to zero. So zero cannot be a primitive root because zero is produced and not all the numbers in the set are produced. If you raise the power of uh, zero by all the numbers in the set, then you get zero, and you don't get all the numbers. So it is it cannot be a primitive root. Similarly, if you test this 1, then you get 1 raised to power 0 is equal to 1, 1 raised to power 1 is equal to 1, and 1 raised to power 2 is equal to 1. 1 can also not be a primitive root because not all the numbers in the set are produced. However, here the 0 is, has not been produced, but not all the numbers in the uh, set are produced. Now look uh, over this. 2 is power 0 is equal to 1. 2 is power 1 is equal to 2 and 2 is power 2 is equal to 4 which mod 3 is equal to 1. So 2 is the primitive root because no 0 is produced and all the numbers except 0 in the set are produced. So we can say that this is a primitive root. We start from 2 because we know that for 0 and 1 uh, 0 and 1 cannot be primitive roots. So we start with 2. So first we raise the power of 2 from 0 to 6 and we get these results 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1. Here you can see that uh, not all the numbers in the set from 0 to 6 are produced. Hence 2 is not the primitive root. Now we test 3. 3 is power 0 is equal to 1. It, uh, 3 to the power 1 is equal to 3, 3 to the power 2 is equal to 2, uh, similarly it is 6, 4, 5 and 1. So as you can see that except 0, all the numbers in the set have been produced 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore 3 is the primitive root because all the numbers in the, root in the set are produced. Now we uh, test the test 4 for the same with using the same method and we again see that 4 is also not the primitive root because all the numbers in that set are not produced and for 5 we can see that it is a primitive root because 1 2 3 4 5 6 all numbers have been produced uh, while testing 5 raising the power of 5 from 0 to 6 and 6 is also not the primitive root so, hence we get that uh, for G of 7, 3 and 5 are the primitive roots, roots. Now, we see what is a primitive polynomial. A primitive polynomial, P of x, is defined to be an irreducible polynomial of degree m, which divides x to the power n plus 1 for n is equal to P to the power m minus 1, and which does not divide xi plus 1 for i less than where i is less than n. A primitive polynomial must have a constant term as well. So we test uh, a primitive polynomial which is actually a irreducible polynomial x3 plus x plus 1 for Galois, extended Galois field f2 to the power 3. Here m is 3 and p is equal to 2. 
Now using the formula here, which says that n is equal to p minus 1, we get n is equal to p 3 raised to the power p raised to the power 3 minus 1, which is equal to 2 raised to the power 3 minus 1, and we get 7. So value of n is 7. For x cubed plus x plus 1 to be primitive, it must be a divide x n plus 1 means x 7 plus 1 but not x i plus 1 where i is less than n. It means we have to divide all the polynomials from degree greater than 3 from x plus 4 to x plus 7 by x cubed plus x. So we first divide x4 plus 1 and we get x squared plus x plus 1. x plus 5 is divided so we get x cubed plus x plus 1. Here we get the remainder x squared plus x plus 1. And uh, x cubed plus x plus 1 divides x6 plus 1 and we get the remainder x squared plus 1. But when we divide x7 plus 1 we get the remainder 0. Similarly, if we test x cubed plus x squared plus 1, we see we again get the same n is equal to 7 because the uh, Galois, uh, extended Galois field is the same to the power 3. And uh, uh, for x cubed plus x1 to be primitive, it must again the same condition is the same. So it means divide all the polynomials from x4 plus 1 to x7 by x cubed plus x squared plus 1. Again, if we divide x is 4 plus 1 with x cubed plus x squared plus 1, we get x squared plus x. x plus 5 plus 1 is divided by x cubed plus x squared plus 1 gives x in the remainder. x6 plus 1 is divided by this irre irreducible polynomial gives x squared plus x plus 1. And dividing x plus 1, x7 plus 1 gives you 0. So the primitive test of polynomials for gf2 raised to the power 3, x cubed plus x plus 1, and x cubed plus x squared plus 1 show that they both are primitive because for all the values less than n, the remainder is not 0, but for n, the division is, uh, division, uh, the remainder is 0. And this satisfies the condition for an irreducible polynomial to be a primitive polynomial. And now we see what are primitive elements of a polynomial. So the elements on the previous slides are primitive elements whose power is relative to pm minus 1 is equal to 2 to the power 4 minus 1 is equal to 16 minus 1 is equal to 15. So for gf for, uh, of 16, what we have, we have 2 is power 4 as our p is power m. And, uh, what we get, what we get over here uh, from this formula, uh, p m minus one is equal to fifteen. So if we find the factors of fifteen, we get three and five. So the powers of alpha, which are relatively prime to the factors three and five, are primitive elements. So we find the factors of all the uh, alpha is power 2, 4, 7, 8, 11, 13, 14. 0 and 1 is of course not required. 1 because 1, uh, other than 1, uh, it should have the common factors. So as you can see that these are primitive elements because other than 1, because of course one, can, one can, any number can be divided by one, but, the, but other than one, there is no common factor or co-prime between three and five and two, two, four, three and five. Here you, you cannot find any uh, any uh, co-prime because here you have three and five, here you have two, four, eight, here you have 11, here you have three and five, 13, again, not three or five is not there, two, seven, 14, three or five is not there. But if you look at these one, here you can see 3, of course, 3 is co-prime of uh, 3 and, two, and 5, 5 is the co-prime, 
here 3 is the core prime here 3 is the core prime here 5 and here 3 again so we can you can see that core prime so relative uh, relatively primes are there in uh, for these elements but for these elements there are no core primes uh, present so these are primitive elements